Hey, how you guys doing? Um, today, we're going to do a video, and I'm going to blow your mind, for, especially for all the people living in America, um, what happened. Thanks for watching my other Fukushima video I did a while back. Um, it had a lot of views. So real quick, um, just, just to let you know, for people that don't know, this was a, uh, a, a nuclear reactor, multi-nuclear reactor meltdown where these nuclear reactors have problems from uh, a tidal wave and they basically, some blew up and some melted down. So real quick, when they blew up, um, it was a lower temperature explosion and there was a lot of isotopes. So we're gonna talk about where, where these isotopes now are. And uh, basically this thing here says boom was a cloud or a plume. Uh, and another problem going on right now as we speak when they built this place and who would ever think of You know cutting a mountain they cut this mountain here and they built this thing at the bottom of kind of a hill So all this water travels and now these things are melting underground and millions and millions of gallons are going into the ocean And now the Pacific Ocean is pretty much dying and I'm gonna, we're gonna show you some things about this and you know you know, the young kids and millennials, you guys really need to get on board on this because this has to end. This nuclear stuff, when you see uh, the, the repercussions of this one, these are uh, just a photo a satellite from, you know, all the, this is pure radiation plumes that would get into the atmosphere. Now, let me talk a little bit about the plumes. Uh, I'm not going to turn this into a science uh, radio active radiation type class but you've got alphas gammas and betas now the gammas are i call them zoomies and you know they they pretty much can go right through you the alphas and betas kind of have to be ingested so they could these are probably one of the most damaging and like when you have this and here's 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 the uh fukushima and here's this pink not pink but yellow you can see this plume here which is traveling this is the united states over here and as this plume goes over the United States, it has lots of different isotopes, okay? And the initial explosion of this plume was like around 2,000 degrees, and then it became hotter and hotter and hotter, and that's a whole other issue. But at that point, we have certain isotopes that are alphas and betas, and these you could breathe. It's in the air. It's in the rain. And, and so cesium and iodine were the isotopes, and they have half-lives of 30 days, uh, to 60 days and the iodine was less and that's really important because uh, some of this information I'm going to tell you is kind of going to blow your mind uh, uh, what would happen real quick uh, the reactors that were in Fukushima were G GE reactors and we have those all over the United States all over the world there's like 450 nuclear reactors they've all been outdated they've uh, in, in America they're totally outdated and now they've just uh, uh, extended their lives. Half of them got problems. A lot of them had leaks. A lot of them, uh, David Bessie's got glue holding it together. I mean, it, it's insane. They leaked. They were, they, there was releases in Chicago, releases in New York, releases in Miami. Okay, they don't tell you about all this stuff. And so a lot of these are GE nuclear uh, manufactured plants, which now they're finding out have a lot of problems. And now there's tons of class action lawsuits. Now, I'm going to show you some crazy stuff here real quick. So real fast. So here we got Japan. Here we got the U.S. Boom, kaboom. Here's the plume. And over here in America, be happy. Everything is okay. Our government tells us it's great. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. And here it's getting into the water. It's coming over the U.S. And Russia actually picked up this stuff, okay? And so did Lithuania, okay? And so other countries picked up on this. But in America, hey... Everything's great. Don't worry about it. As a matter of fact, when the, this accident occurred on 3-11-11, the plume started getting close to the U.S. around the 18th. And guess what? The White House decided to go to the Southern Hemisphere. That's right. All of them, including the dog. And guess who else went down the Southern Hemisphere? The GE executives. They went down for some summit. So, okay, people. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. So they all leave, and we, and they're saying, don't worry about it. So now, <clears throat> you go through the, <clears throat> excuse me, you go through the um, uh, internet, and they got this map here, and they call it a hoax map. 
<laughs> it's a hoax map. It's not a hoax map. Now, maybe it doesn't look like this, but you can see it kind of goes like this. And I just put this up because, you know, this is probably what you're going to see. And this is kind of what really happened. Um, so basically for about 10 days, first uh, on, on 3-11-11, around the 8, 15th and 18th, to hit the U.S. and then travel across America for about, I'm going to say, 8 to 10 days. Here's another, and we're, I'm going to show you some crazy stuff about these this, these scams. They say, oh, here's this is the one with the Fukushima water is killing the Pacific. It is killing the Pacific, and I'm going to show you in a second. But they say this is a big scam. It's a scam. No, it's not a scam. Maybe this picture is a scam, but this is not a scam. Right now, water is traveling underneath those reactors. They're melted. They're going, you ever hear of China syndrome? Well, that's what's going on. And all that water from that mountain is is contaminating it's going into the ocean okay it's going in the ocean oh by the way uh during this time where where the white house says hey see you later we're going to the southern hemisphere don't worry be happy the cloud the cloud there's no cloud we had the biggest news we we're going after Gaddafi. so all the news was kind of going towards this whole Gaddafi thing okay and you know sometimes you wonder so Today, these are photos of plants. Um, there's, a, I'll have another video, and Organic Slant has a site that shows all these plants. The plants here in Cleveland are becoming deformed, and this all happened recently. Um, now they said, "Hey, you know, the Pacific Ocean is just fine." Well, tell me why 10,000 dead sea lions wash up on the shores of California, okay, and more up in the islands. And the whales are dying, okay? This is all happening, and a lot, and they're saying, they, oh, we don't know what caused them to die. A lot of them are dying from starvation. A lot of them are dying from leukemia. That's right. These things got leukemia. And the re, just now, this is 2019, there was another 30 whales and 40 whales that died. I mean, we're going to have extinctions here. These whales are coming, they're dying, so of course there's something happening um, in, in the ocean, and some whales have tumors and dolphin are dying now another thing is the starfish are gone you go up into uh upper canada on the west coast there's no more starfish there's no more sea urchins okay so yes there is some issues all right there is some problems um this is uh uh, uh sea urchins and and uh to to the right is what it used to be to the left is a um uh, a, a website that i go to uh uh Dana Dunford, uh, you can look him up. He's on every night. He talks about Fukushima every single night. And he actually is the only person on this planet that goes to the ocean for four to five months at a time. And he takes pictures and he goes alone and nobody's helping him. The government in Canada doesn't like him. The American government doesn't like him. The EPA doesn't like him. The colleges, nobody wants him to do this because guess what? They don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to know that this Fukushima is destroying the planet. Now, just for the heck of it, there's Dana. Dana here, and um, you can watch him on YouTube nightly. Um, this is this is, uh, this is can uh, uh, Japan now. They have, ready for this, 30 million one-ton bags. Each one of these bags is one ton. And guess what? They're just polluting it all over. This is uh, this is a fake picture. They're saying, oh, the reactors are fixed. They're not. This is what they look like. Okay, this is green screen. So there's a whole bunch of information on that. So the news is not telling you the truth. And that's what this whole video is about. It's about our EPA. You guys think our EPA's the good guys? Wait till you hear that. I'm going to blow your mind because this whole video is about the EPA and about America, how they kind of lied to us about this radiation. Here in Japan, they've got all these areas that are empty and they're all filling up with these bags. These one, these are all, these are thousands and thousands of bags. These used to be areas where they used to farm and now they're all full of these bags. Each bag is one ton, 30 million of them. And these bags, you think these bags are gonna last a long time? No, some of these isotopes are thousands of years, hundreds of years, some, you know, depending on what isotope, you know, the bags are just plastic and they're already leaking in some areas. And if there's uh, any storms, you're, they're going to be floating in the, in, these things are, they're going to be floating in the Pacific Ocean. If there's another another tsunami, look at these things just piled up all over Japan. They take this beautiful land and they fill it up with 
millions and millions, 30 million. I can't count the 30 million. Okay, and these poor people are living with this next door. Their their uh, cancer rates and the kids have gone up 30, 30%, especially with the children. So here is the real plume, and this is Dana, and he's talking about all the isotopes with this low temperature. And guess what? We're going to talk about iodine and cesium, and you're gonna, I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to blow your mind what the EPA did to us in America. Here is the plume full of iodine and cesium. Okay, and guess what? It rains, right? Now, here we go. We're getting into the dirty stuff now. These are sites all over America that measure radiation. Now, remember I said alpha, gamma, and beta. Well, these pretty much can do pretty good with the uh, measuring the, the, the gammas, <clears throat> but the alphas and betas are a little bit more difficult. And so all these sites, I believe there's 120 or so, were on, but a lot of them weren't even working, and some were, were cannibalized and not functioning right when this happened, which was 311. And this is really important because the year 2011 is the year America was poisoned. We were poisoned, and I'm gonna tell you about it in a second. So these are these, these uh, uh, detectors they have. Um, a lot of cities have them, but here's your problem with these. There's only like 130, 40 of them now, back then 120. That's not a whole lot of these, okay? So there's a lot of flaws with this equipment. Um, and as far as the alpha, it also picks up alpha and beta. However, those have to be taken generally to a lab. And when they take it to a lab, then they process it. So they're like on filter paper. The only problem is, now I'm gonna tell you about this, the iodine-131 and the cesiums, okay, they have relatively low half-lives. There's two types of cesium. One is 30 years, you know, three years, and, and three years and one's 30 years. But the bottom line is that, let's say the iodine, uh, which was, you know, maybe 90, 30 days, 90 days. Um, after 90 days, it's in half and in half and in half and in half. So after one year, which is going to be really important, in one year, for example, iodine-131 would be gone. It would be, would be, net, would be uh, unnoticeable on the ground. It would just disappear. However, if you ingested it during that time, you would damage your thyroid. And, the th and I'll show you in a few minutes what's going on with the thyroid. So the damage to your body is done. But guess what? The bad guy is gone. Okay, so remember the bad guys. There's two bad guys, cesiums and one, and, 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 and the iodine that were in that plume that came over the USA. So basically, these things are supposed to pick it up, okay, and they're supposed to take it to the lab, and immediately it's supposed to be tested. Immediately. And, you know, especially if there's a nuclear disaster, you would think you'd be testing those every day. And you got to test it because if you don't get the data right away, the next within 30 days, it's half that data. And you got to tell the people, hey, look, you, you know, don't drink the milk, don't eat the food, don't eat whatever was rained on by this. OK, so here's the issue. They picked up these filters and a lot of these weren't even working. And then he took these filters and they says, oh, let's take them to the lab. And guess what? They left them in the lab for a year. What, remember I told you in 12 months, there's nothing left. You know, so the, the, alpha, the, the alpha and betas of the iodine and cesium that were in that cloud that rained on America for 10 days, which got on all our food, all the cows had it in their milk, it's in your cheese, and it would have been in January, February, March, of April, May, June, July, and August, and then it would start to drop every month after that. So anything in June and July was highly radioactive, and they weren't testing the they weren't testing it back then. Plus, they weren't testing the milk. They quit testing the milk during that time. Can you imagine that? That was the most important thing to test. Okay, they didn't do it. They did it in in Hawaii, and Hawaii was the only place that they 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 said that the Mister here's the cow. Okay, and and basically here it is. This is let's this is just a a little. Uh, uh, diagram I got from the internet and here's let's say little Fukushima boom here goes that the little plume going to America and everybody in the White House says goodbye goodbye we're leaving we're going to Southern Hemisphere you know and all of a sudden it comes down and hey everything's okay go on outside so you're outside and you breathe it and it gets into your into your body now it's doing damage in your body and you and and and, and I'll, but it's dying remember every 30 days every 60 days every 90 days some of these isotopes go in half lives we're not talking about the 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 the, the half lives of 
uh, of, of uranium and plutonium, and that's, that's another video I'll talk about. We're talking about the plume that had these, these, uh, these, uh, half, these low half-life isotopes that came across America. So here we go, Mr. Cow, Mr. Cow is gonna eat the grass, which is, by the way, full of cesium and full iodine. Oh, goes into the milk. Oh, nobody's testing the milk. Oh, we're not testing the milk this year. You know, they, they, they quit. Then now here's all your food. You're picking your, your, your lettuce and you're eating your cherries and all that food has got that iodine and that goes into your body. It goes into your body and does damage to your body and then it disappears. And so, so basically, <clears throat> This is that fake plume we talked about, and and uh, and so you know, the during the first two weeks, okay, of the plume, uh, of right after the, the uh, after the nuclear meltdown of Fukushima in Japan, um, they didn't release any data. Matter of fact, they didn't release the alpha and beta reports until a year later. Think about it. A year later, if you wait a year and after ten half lives. There's nothing on there. So, of course, they say, oh, everything's good to go. We're all fine. Hey, everything's great. They didn't test it right away. If they did, we would be, we'd be in our houses. We wouldn't be eating any food. We, we wouldn't be cutting the grass on those days. Okay, we may have taken an airplane down to the southern hemisphere also, right? So, <clears throat> they basically said, hey, it's everything is fine. And, 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 uh, in the meantime, all Americans, all of us were poisoned by cesium and iodine. Don't let them kid you. This is what happened, okay? And what's funny is you go to the EPA sites now and you try to look up the data. Oh, it's not available. Of course it's not available. And you can't find the data from these dates because, you know, they redid their, they revamped their site and uh, you can't find this. I mean, you can find it on some people's sites and some of the sites, some of the, there's one, uh, a site called E E News or E News E. They took them off. They got rid of all of this stuff. They've been hiding this. They've been shadow banning this. They don't want you to know what's going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we talked about gamma, beta, alpha, and I, there's neutrons in there too. You know, we talked about. You know, I said the gammas. Oh, and here's another thing. We only have 120 or 40 sites. Guess what? That's a site every 10 or 20,000 miles. You imagine if there's a nuclear reactor on the other side of Lake Michigan, and we don't, and and and, and so it takes 20,000 miles or square miles before the people know about it. We don't even have enough of these the, these uh, detectors, and you know what? They don't want them because we have so we have we have 99 reactors in America. Half of them got problems, and when they accident release liquids that get into the water like there's people in chicago that have radioactive water now people in pennsylvania got radioactive water the the uh the, the water aquifers under uh, miami are radioactive this is crazy stuff man this is destroying our planet and guess what it's not green this is not good energy this is bad energy the millennials and these kids you kids got to stop this before you, you matter of fact i don't think you kids are going to have kids because of this you got to stop this, um, and so so uh, uh, so this is uh, the map. Here's the U.S. Okay, so like I said earlier, they basically said 200 radioisotopes. Okay, that came around. Now Alaska did pick up some right after that, you know, but it wasn't the front page of the paper. And and, and Hawaii picked up some of the milk, but that was the only milk that was ever tested. They didn't test milk. That whole year, there's no reason. Go look for milk testing in the year 2011. The only year that this this America needed milk testing, the only year they, they didn't do it. They didn't do it. Give me a break. Then they didn't test for the alphas and the betas during that year. Why? Why? They were at the lab. They were at the lab waiting while they were decomposing so there was nothing on them. <clears throat> Folks, man, we've been had. We've been had. So now we look at the projected thyroid cancers and this is uh, up here is 2020 and you could see how this is just going up it's going up and i'm sure everybody now knows somebody with thyroid cancer in japan in japan uh, within like four or five hundred miles of fukushima 20 to 30 percent of the kids get thyroid issues and cysts not necessarily cancer but thyroid problems and the thyroid problem you know why the thyroid problems because 
alpha and beta has to be ingested. It doesn't go through you. So if it, you breathe it while it was falling out during that, that 10 day period, you got it in your body. You know, if you ate fruit, you know, or you ate lettuce or you ate your tomatoes from your garden, it was covered with the stuff, man. And then it decomposed. So it's this, it was like the evidence damaged your body and now it's gone. It's gone. The evidence is gone, you know? And so there's no testing results. They're gone. They never happened. They waited. And, and you know, when, they, when you see these signs that say radiation risk, no fishing for 300 years, well, they're talking about cesium because cesium, uh, you have two types of cesium. One of, them's, one of them's 30 years. So I said every 10 years, it goes to nothing. So in this particular case of 300 years, but you know what? I've got other videos on, on the other isotopes, which are much worse, and depleted uranium. Oh, you got to check out my depleted uranium video. So we're going to end this real quick, just for the heck of it. Uh, just so you know, this whole part of the United States and the baby boomers, that's me, we just got whacked because thou, they, they blew up hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of atomic bombs in the, in the United States and all this fallout is where all the radiation fell. So we're kind of living in a radioactive world, you know, and then this map here shows you all the explosions and I'll come up with a few more videos and, and uh, let you know about it. So to end this video, the, the bottom line was there was a plume. It was a plume full of iodine and cesium. The plume iodine and cesium is highly radioactive. They're alpha and betas. It drained on your food. It rained on your pets. It rained on your head. It got into your food. And our government basically said, don't worry about it. Go outside and be happy. Be happy. And in the meantime, they quit testing some of a lot of the alpha and betas. So they waited a year until the isotopes have decomposed to their fullest. So there was no need to worry. No need to worry. Well, you know what? They also did test the cows and the milk in June and July when they had to. They needed to do it because you wouldn't, if you knew you wouldn't be eating cheese, you wouldn't be drinking milk, you wouldn't be eating that ice cream on that hot day, you know? And so we'll never know the actual damage. We'll never know the actual damage. This is just one of the big secrets, one of the big secrets. So, hey, I want to thank you guys for coming on. Uh, please rate and subscribe. I do have a lot of videos, um, a lot, mostly home inspection videos, but I throw these in from time to time. Sometimes these get me in trouble, um, but I got to put them up. So uh, hit the bell so you can get my future videos and subscribe. And thanks for coming on.